Perhaps you've caught a behind-the-scenes glimpse of your favorite pop star in the studio, belting out their tracks for a new record. The visual is familiar to many. The artist is standing in an acoustically insulated booth, with a producer or audio engineer on the other side of the glass at a huge mixing desk. Yet, have you ever wondered why the singer is usually wearing oversized headphones, even when performing with other musicians? To fully grasp this idea, we must first understand the recording process itself. Music's evocative power is a result of the harmonious fusion of various elements, like drums, guitar, piano, vocals, and more. These elements coexist on a concert stage, but are distinctly handled during studio recordings. In this era, multi-track recording is the norm, in which each instrument and part is recorded separately. The salient point of an individual track is to avoid bleed, which is the noise from one instrument leaking into another's microphone. Imagine being at a crowded bar, trying to converse with a friend. Even if you're standing right next to them, speaking directly into their ear, the background noise and commotion might hinder their ability to understand you. This is how a recording studio works. Each instrument or voice is recorded separately to banish the noise bleed, ensuring a pristine recording of each track. When the singer steps up to the microphone, they're often overdubbing their voice on the separately recorded tracks of the other instruments, because if everyone were to record together, it would potentially cause bleed. Hence, the singer typically records alone or in a secluded, soundproof booth, away from the rest of the band. Now, in order to accurately blend their voice with the other tracks, the singer must be able to hear these tracks. Playing them aloud could result in the microphone picking up the track sounds. Herein lies the necessity of headphones, as they allow the singer to hear the other tracks, yet prevent any external noise from being picked up by the microphone. Headphones must be high quality and snug to maximize the recording session's efficacy. Closed back headphones, for example, minimize sound leak but are not suitable for mixing and editing tasks. Even in a home studio or amateur setup, where acoustics may be less than perfect, headphones prove to be beneficial. They allow you to truly isolate and comprehend the sound without being drowned out by your own instrument or voice. Although the initial mixing and editing are recommended with speakers and studio monitors, headphones can serve as a useful tool to check how your tracks will eventually sound to the end listener. Now, if headphones are so useful in a recording studio, how do performers manage live performances without them? In these situations, singers don't wear headphones, but instead utilize in-ear monitors, which can be calibrated to let different musicians hear different tracks at varying volumes. This multifunctionality ensures optimal performance, eliminating the confusion of overlapping feeds from fold-back speakers and protecting musicians from harmful levels of noise on stage. So, whether you're gearing up for a quiet gig at a local venue or playing the Super Bowl halftime show, a good pair of studio headphones and reliable in-ear monitors are essential tools. To create harmonious music, it's crucial for artists to isolate each track, eliminate noise bleed, and clearly hear other performers in real time. That's why you often see singers wearing headphones in the studio and in-ear monitors during live performances. With that in mind, the next time you see your favorite artist in the studio or on stage, don't forget the significant role that these vital audio accessories play. If you enjoyed this video, we'd love to hear from you in the comments section. Your feedback not only supports us, but also helps our channel reach more viewers and continue to grow.